Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. It's a beautiful sunny Tuesday. And it's also a beautiful day for a cup of coffee. <laughs> so if you're having a cup of coffee or tea, enjoy. I grabbed Forky today. Oh, very good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, good old Forky. One, two, three. The tip of her tail. Yes. Hello. You come to say good morning too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll pop the curtain a little bit. Mm -hmm. Right on cue. Mm -hmm. Oh, so last night I ended the vlog and put it together. And I thought, okay, before the boys go to bed, I'm gonna watch some YouTube. And I'll, I'll just you know relax watching YouTube. My YouTube app on my phone wasn't working. And I'm like, oh, come on, YouTube can't be down. I'm like, no. And I, it, it worked everywhere else, so it's like YouTube is not down. You know, the boys were actually watching YouTube, you know, <laughs> at that moment. So I knew, okay, YouTube wasn't out. And it's like, oh, you know, the one time I just want to relax. And it was like 7.30, you know, it's like bedtime's around 8 o'clock. And it's like, I just want to watch some YouTube, just relax, you know, put my feet up for like 30 minutes, right? And uh, yeah, yeah, so I had to like, um, delete the app and reinstall it and now it works so it's like yeah it was not my night so I had to, to watch stuff you know it's like oh but that time it's like I had to wait till like till after they were in bed to watch yeah YouTube yeah no I, I think I probably got to watch a little bit but you know before I went to bed but then it's like they had to go to bed and then it's like okay yeah I know, it just did not go my way, you know? I was like, I don't know what, what it was. Yeah. Yeah, so. It was that. I don't know. What you looking at? Hmm? What you looking at? Yeah. Nobody's out there. There was a bird. Mr. Robin was out there. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh. So then they went to bed. Actually, I really had to put them to bed, my hubby. So I got to, you know, relax. Um, and you know, got to watch YouTube, and then I watched an episode of All Rise. Uh, I think I have like four more to get caught up on. Now, I'm watching Disney movies, okay? That, I, that was like the first thing I watched. Um, I'm watching Disney movies in kind of an order, and because there's some movies I haven't seen, and it's kind of fun to watch them when they were released. And there's a few that I have to watch on YouTube because I can't find them. And I tried to watch the next one, okay? The next one was a Victory Through Air Power. It was made in 1943. It is all in black and white. It is about the aviation. Uh, it's just like aviation history. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, it. It was interesting at first. You got to learn about the Wright brothers. And you got to learn how changes in the plane were made you know down the road and especially when it came to um wartime and they had the um automatic gun but they had it at the front of the plane and then they realized that that didn't work because of the propeller when the propeller went around and you know shot the bullets all over the place so that didn't work so back to the drawing board it was and then they got talking about it like they got into the war and that's when i kind of lost interest so um it was a little bit interesting but then i kind of just lost interest so um i couldn't yeah i had to stop watching it um so that one was made in 1943. I have it written down so I wouldn't forget. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not a morning person and I probably would forget that title. Yeah. <laughs> the next one, um, I didn't watch a little bit because it was, you know, um, I went to bed a little bit early. Um, but the next one was with Donald Duck. It was The Three Caballeros, 1945. So that one so far is pretty cute. Yeah, I didn't think Donald Duck is good. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> And it was just about um, different birds, so yeah. So that was cute. I'm still, I'm not, I'm not done. I'm probably halfway done watching that, so I'll probably finish that one. But the other one, I'm just couldn't, couldn't get into you now. And I think there's quite a few more that I have to watch on YouTube. Like the next, the next big Disney movie will be in Cinderella, and that was in I think that's in the first one from the 1950s era. But right now I'm still in the 1940s and yeah, so, but like, I've never heard of these ones, you know, never, 
seen them, never heard of them, so yeah, so it's interesting. But the 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 victory through air power I couldn't get into. And not because it's black and white. I watched black and white before, I think, because the topic was war, and that's really not my topic. Yeah. I know that interests some people, but not me. <laughs> Hello. That's when it's like I tune out. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. And that's, yeah, that was my night. Then I went to bed, and uh, yeah. Watched a little bit of YouTube, and then. Well, that's what I was doing because that was on YouTube, but I watched my friends a little bit, some of my friends on YouTube. I have to get caught up uh, today, yeah, but, yeah, and then I went to bed. Yeah, I went to bed early. Yeah, so up good. So that was good. Yeah, and then I had a dream. I had a dream that the hubby and I were at a yard so Why? Why is the mind so cruel? <laughs> you know? <laughs> Out of all the things to dream about, that's what I dream about, going to a yard sale. And right now, I think yard sales are definitely no-no because we are in lockdown. Obviously, you know, they're, they're going to be discouraged. And I had a dream and I found, oh my gosh, I remember what I found. I found a PS3 controller at a good price. <laughs> in, good, in good condition. And I, th I found a little Care Bear. The ones that we grew up with. The ones that, you know, are, are vintage. Um, and... One of those smaller, smaller Care Bears, like really t small ones. And I found a backpack purse, but it was a Minnie Mouse backpack purse. And I remember looking and thinking, oh, is it lo lounge fly, you know? And it wasn't, but you know, it's like, okay, it's still a good buy, right? It doesn't have to be lounge fly, but that's like the first thing you think of. But yeah. <laughs> when you see a Disney backpack, mini backpack purse, it's like, oh, is it lounge fly? But it wasn't, but um, yeah, I still got it, but it stayed in my dreams. I, I, I woke up with nothing, you know, and I was like, oh man, and it feels so real. It feels like, like you're actually at a yard sale, that you're actually buying these items and you're going to bring them home, but no, they stay in dream world. That's just me. <laughs> oh, I think I really want to go yard sale because, yeah, that's like the second dream I've had in like, what, a week and a half? Like I had one, in, I, had, I had a dream I was at a, an estate sale like not too long ago, you know, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know where I want to be, right? Yeah, yard sale, like thrifting. Oh my gosh, I really want to go thrifting. But this is what happened last year too. I didn't, I didn't go thrifting until I think around end of June. You know, so it's like deja vu all over again. Yeah, and I'm not gonna go right away because it's gonna be busy. Everybody's gonna want to get out and do the same thing so I'll probably wait a week or two and kind of you know you know play by ears you know keep an eye on social media you know so yeah see which stores are busy and which ones are maybe okay to go to so yeah but I figure Valley Village and Goodwill will definitely be excuse me will be busy mm. yeah Oh, yeah, so, yeah, that was my night. And Henry almost finished his homework. He just had, had his three more pages. But you know what? I was happy with what he did. I was like, okay, you're good, you know. Because the one thing I really wanted him to do was do a good copy with that letter. And, you know, because writing is not his favorite thing. So getting that out of the way was, you know, good. And, um, yeah, don't have to think about it. The right? vacuum garbage. The vacuum? Old one. Old, old one? Which I thought you threw in the garbage. It's in the box. Oh, alright. Yeah, because garbage hasn't gone by yet. Yeah, that's right, it's Tuesday, garbage day. Oh, yeah, so. Anyway, I'm going to drink my coffee. I'm going to get this place set up. I still have to feed them. We, we woke up early. <laughs> I'm not, not that I wanted to wake up early, but my bladder had different plans. Yeah, my bladder... It's my alarm clock, and it's like, okay, it's time to get up, even though I don't want to get up. You know, give me another 20 minutes, you know, push to snooze, but it, it doesn't work. <laughs> no, <laughs> not with your bladder, no. <laughs> mm. No, so, you know, we were all up. Uh, so, yeah, I'll get up something to eat that make me hungry right now, and, yeah, we have online schooling, and I'm hoping to fold the laundry, get that done, and... Let's see what else, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. The plants still look good from here, from the window, so that's good. I know. <laughs> I'm always, you know, I'm like a mother hen. 
Yeah, keep an eye, you know, yeah. <laughs> keep an eye on the plants, you know, what are you know. And I did water the plants in the window. I did water them. Um, the only ones I didn't have to water were the pumpkin ones because those were still um, damp. So those might need watering today. But um, the other ones were, yeah, they needed watering yesterday afternoon. Was it afternoon? No, yesterday morning I watered them. So they'll probably need another watering this morning because the sun was shining on them all afternoon so they will probably definitely need watering so I'm trying to remember in the morning water the plants yeah so so far so good <laughs> yeah and I'm even watering the ones that kind of I kind of like somewhat killed that are like kind of wilted and don't look too good I'm just watering them just in case if they decide to change their mind and come back to life and perk up I don't know and if not it's okay but I figure you know it doesn't hurt to try and you know I'm good a few days see how they do but you know yeah, so yeah, that's it. I don't, I'm thinking next year, you know what, I'm just going to go Canadian Tire. I bought all the plants like I did with the broccoli and the peppers because it's just easier. And you know what, they're already, you know, half size. Like, they're tall, they're big, they can survive, they can defend on their on their own. You know, they're like, with a seed, like, seedlings are so weak, you know, like, like, especially against a squirrel who likes to dig and they get uprooted and it's just not good and they, you know, even though if you plant them, they sometimes they don't make it, so, yeah, I'm thinking, you know what, next year, yeah, and then, like, those were, like, around, I think the broccoli was two something and the peppers were, like, around three dollars, so they were, like, really reasonable and I just have to, you know, pick up, like, two of each, you know, yeah. So I'm hoping the lettuce and the cucumber ones that I planted, I could even buy pumpkin, like, they got pumpkin. If I had room, I could go buy corn. Canadian Tire had corn plants, so I don't have room for that, but if I did, <laughs> you know. Um, but, yeah, um, but I already had the seeds for the pumpkin, otherwise I wouldn't have bought the pumpkin. And, you know, but I don't know if I could, well, I want to try to grow the seeds that I have left, like cucumber and lettuce, so hopefully they grow. Um, yeah, I could, <laughs> hopefully, yeah, they should. Mm. Fingers crossed, yeah. Alright, so I'm going to finish my delicious cup of coffee, and I hope everyone has a wonderful Tuesday, and yeah, I'll check back in, we'll see where this day brings us. So I'm upstairs in our bedroom. I'm going to tackle my laundry monster. And I hear Lois and Misha coming in. Yes, there she is. Are you going to help? Oh, are you going to supervise? Anyways, it's just after 10.30. Boys are on the break. We have every window in the house open. It's a gorgeous day. It's nice having fresh air come through the windows. Lois loved it. <laughs> she was soaking up that sun and just enjoying it and watching the birds and the squirrels. And then she came out the window because she was too hot and she passed out yeah, on the rug yeah, to cool off. Um, so here's my laundry mo monster. I'm going to tackle this. But before I do that, um, I have story time for you. Oh my goodness. This morning, Aurelian, my hubby, wanted to go get a nice cat. <sighs> he couldn't find his wallet. You know, and when you can't find your wallet, it kind of scares you and it freaks you out because all of your information is in there. You know, he didn't have any cash on him. We haven't really had cash on us, you know, and if we do have cash, it's just like maybe change, you know, that's it. And we haven't had like a whole lot of cash on us. So he just had his, you know, debit card and license, I think, maybe like an op the optimum card. 
and but if you have to replace your license like you have to pay for it right and the only one you wouldn't have to pay for would be at the bank cart but still you know like it freaks you out and like you search the house he looked in the car didn't find it he looked because he remembered it was on the floor on sunday and he picked it up and put it on the table okay wasn't there wasn't on the table wasn't on the floor and then we thought okay we'll check the the dirty laundry hamper because we have our laundry hampers underneath the counter because that's really the only spot for them and sometimes you know if something gets knocked off it might end up in the laundry hamper well it wasn't there i even went to check in the car you know because the second second set of eyes sometimes is good right better than one set of, uh, better than one set of eyes right so i even did a second look for him and i didn't find anything in the car i was like okay where is it and then you know you, you trace back your steps he hasn't really been anywhere he went to no frills last week because he wanted to get ginger ale but that was like on Wednesday or Thursday, and then he got the kids Happy Meals for lunch the other day, and he remembered what shorts he had on, but he knew that those shorts didn't have pockets in it. Okay, <laughs> so we're looking everywhere. I even like flipped up the couch cushions, flipped them up, you know, like where is it, you know, <laughs> tearing apart the house, and and he even lifted up part of the couch. We have a sectional couch, and he lifted up the biggest part of our couch. It wasn't underneath there. And um, I, you know, like, I, I stopped and I just prayed, you know, okay, help us, you know, find his wallet. I just prayed that we, we, we would find it. And, like, 20 minutes later, Henry walks along. Oh, found your wallet! It was underneath the other part of our sectional couch, the smaller section. So what we're thinking what happened is that he had it on the arm of the couch and it got knocked off onto the floor and got like underneath, like somehow underneath the couch. So that's what we're thinking what happened. But when he found it, it was like, you know, such a sigh of relief. And like, okay, we can stop worrying and, you know, stop tearing apart the house, you know, because yeah, you, you never want to lose your wallet and that feeling is very scary so very thankful that we found it um henry found it so yeah, thank god you know uh yeah but that that was our morning and then helping the kids with the online learning which is which has been going great so thumbs up um but I, I was like going back and forth just making sure that they were paying attention and doing what they were supposed to do so yeah yeah so yeah it's at three o'clock yet. I know it's school out yet. Uh, so I'm going to deal with this. I have like three basketfuls <laughs> right here. Yeah. So I am definitely going to deal with that. I just wave my magic wand and go bippity boppy boo. Right? Yeah. I wish. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Laundry is folded. I just have to put it away. And where did you go, huh? My soap. Yeah, okay. <laughs> she was um in the boys' bedroom window. Yes. Uh huh. Um. Yeah. So now I'm gonna put everything away. But there's probably more downstairs. I mean, there's always laundry waiting in line to get folded. So I'm gonna get this over with, put it away. And then I thought, well, I'm up here. Oh, <laughs> I look like a mess. Um, a hot mess that is, so. <laughs> um, while I'm up here, I'm going to get dressed, because I haven't gone that far yet. And, but, since I'm putting the laundry away, I'm going to go through the boys' t-shirts. Because their t-shirts have to get sorted. Um, I just want to make sure that all their t-shirts, I think the majority of them will still fit, but I just want to get rid of any that may be too small. And I have to put them in the right drawer and um, kind of move them up because they're on the bottom drawer in the dresser. So I have to kind of like sort through them and move them up a couple of drawers. And yeah, so then they'll be all set because they already have their shorts out and their summer PJs are out. So I just have to do the t-shirt. So I think I'm going to do that today since I'm up here. I might as well get it over with. Oh, if you don't mind the Paw Patrol, I've mentioned this before. Um, if you're new here, hi, welcome. I'm happy that you are here. Um, I am in the middle of trying to redo our room to paint it and get it back to an adult room. Because <laughs> uh -huh, when you have kids, their stuff kind of migrates over here, right? Yes, and then you put it back into their bedroom, but it always finds its way back into your room. So it's the only room in the house that has to get painted. And 
yeah, this COVID mess isn't helping with it. So, yeah. Um, yeah, because I want to really get it done and I have to get one more color of paints, but the lockdown does, definitely doesn't help. So, yeah, that, that's why there's a Paw Patrol because that's a blind right now. And that's, I have to look for a curtain at Walmart and I'd rather look for that in person and not order it online. And right now I can't look at it in person. Yeah, so, yeah, that, that's something, I don't know, if I would want to order online, I don't know. I know, that's that's why it's hard. Some stuff, yeah, I don't mind ordering online, but some stuff, I like to look at it in person. So, we will see. She's going back in the window. That's what she's going to do. Yeah, there she goes. I'll have to take her outside later on. Um, but, yeah, so, that's acting as a blind or a curtain because we did have like a bamboo one up there. It was there when we moved in and it eventually broke. And that was probably like around four, I would say around four or five years ago. <laughs> we just got used to the Paw Patrol, you know. I mean, we're, we're only up here to sleep and to get dressed, you know, and to fold never ending laundry. So I think we just, you know, got used to it. So yeah. Uh, but one day it will eventually change and it won't be in the background. <laughs> yeah. This room will be looking fabulous. Yes. Once I can finish it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to put this away and then it's going to be lunchtime. The boys are, it actually is lunchtime. The boys are on the break, lunch break right now. So that is good. All right. So I'm going to just get this done, get it done with and go through their um, short sleeve shirts because it is warm up there. Yes, it is shorts. Time for shorts and yeah. I think I, I didn't go through all their stuff because our weather went from, we had really nice weather and then it got cold. The temperature dropped and I was like, whoa, okay, wh wh where'd you go spring? Hello, come back, you know. But now I think spring is officially here and it's officially warming up. So time to get everybody's t-shirts out. Yeah. And just like that, I am all dressed. Voila. And I had lunch, so now I am ready to go through the boys' t-shirts before they have to go back to online learning. I still have a few minutes. Um, probably about well, 20 minutes. So, yeah, I'm going to get to this. And Lois is right here. She's like, oh, I'll help you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll just sit here looking cute. That's how I help. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I think the majority, like I said, I think most of them will fit. Um, but yeah, it's just, you know, going through them and then folding them nicely. And a lot of these, I think I've thrifted when we were allowed to thrift. And I think, like, I probably, like, last summer, you know, and maybe in the fall. And uh, I think that's what some of them are from. So they will definitely fit this year, but then there they're gonna be some that will be probably too small. There we go. Best day ever. <laughs> this was a Walmart find clearance. <laughs> yeah, that will still fit. Yeah, so I'm gonna do that. And I know SpongeBob is here somewhere. Here he is. They got a couple of SpongeBob. This was a Value Village one. Yeah. <laughs> Bring on the awesome. <laughs> yeah, they have a couple of SpongeBobs. You always have to have a couple of SpongeBobs, if not more. Yeah, so okay, I'm gonna go through this and sort what fits and what doesn't fit. Alright, so we got a good pile for Casey. These are the ones that will fit him, and a good pile for Henry. And this is a pile of long pants for, um, go, you know, for jammies, jammy pants. And they're like light material if they want to wear them if it's cool one night or when the seasons change. And these ones, hi. You come to help? Nope. I love you too. Um, these ones I got last year at Walmart and they were too long. So I'm not sure if they're going to fit this year or not. So we'll see. And I only um found about three shirts that won't fit. Um... Yep, a Star Wars one. If you know Henry, he loves Star Wars. I love you too. Um, but I think this is going to be too short. And I think it's like a size too small. Yeah, it's a small. And they're, they are in like a medium right now. So, but I'm going to keep it because I might do something with it like down the road. Because he loves Star Wars. And believe me. 
that is one t-shirt that he has multiples of is Star Wars t-shirts because every time I go thrifting and I find a Star Wars t-shirt, even if it's a size too big, I grab it. Yeah. So he probably has like four other Star Wars t-shirts. Yeah. Um, I'm definitely going to keep that one. And the only, only other one that was too small was a Toronto Blue Jay. And this is also a t-shirt they have multiples of. I think they each have two um, Toronto Blue Jay t-shirts. Go Jays! Woohoo! And um, that fit them right now. So, But I will keep this one because I might do something with that. And then I found this um, one St. Patrick Day t-shirt um i did look for this for saint patty's day but i had two of these and i never brought this one out because if i brought this one out for one of them to wear and i did not have the other one oh well that is just trouble in the making you know because you're going to have one kid upset so um i never did brought it out we just wore green for saint patty's day i i, I still don't know where the second one because i bought these at dollar Rama last year so um but it's too short right now anyway so probably would have been too short anyways um for them to wear it back in march so that, that was it only three t-shirts that don't really fit so i'm gonna put this in their drawers and yeah that's it got a lot done so yeah feel good feel accomplished well, guys, um, when was the last time I talked to you? <laughs> I think it was like around, yeah, lunchtime. Well, I know it's been a crazy afternoon. It is actually after 6.30. Yeah. So uh, we just had dinner. We just had wraps again for dinner and the boys had mac and cheese. I was kind of fighting off a headache all afternoon. So yeah, I had a sneaky one sneak up on me and I had to take Advil and yeah. Yeah, yeah, now it's gone, but it's just one of those, you know, sneaky headaches and throws you off your track, right? Mm, yeah. So it's all gone now. So I'm just outside enjoying some fresh air. And yeah, um, I helped Henry with his work. He is all caught up and he is halfway done his project. He has a project to do. It's for social studies and it's a travel scrapbook on any country they want to pick. Okay, so he has... A few options like every country you have a lot of options to choose from you you know there's Ireland there's there's Australia you know there's Greece um, Italy you know um, Egypt and what country does he pick Canada <laughs> yeah so if you're new here we are from Ontario so he picked his own country um, which is funny so you have to like kind of do the, your research and uh, but she, the teacher, like left a link to National Geographic Kids, and like there was a bunch of a bunch of countries on um, there to choose from. So that's how he was able to choose one, uh, choose choose one, and he um, picked Canada, and you just click on it, and it gives you like all the facts about it. So you have to write down like what the population is, what language they speak, and um, the climate, uh, wild wildlife. Canada has quite a few wildlife <laughs> and you have to pick what is there to do in that country and what do people like to eat in that country and where do people live in that country. So like in a house or apartments, you know, condos, that kind of, yeah, that kind of um, living arrangement, right? So yeah, so he only has to do the, do the other half, it's due Friday and I want it all done because my birthday is Thursday so I want all the projects done by my birthday. <laughs> yeah, so yeah so um but he did that so that's good i feel comfortable you know really good and um i'm gonna water the plants back there and the one thing i forgot to get when i was at dollar tree was a hose nozzle because um i still have to put an order in um on canadian tire website because we need mulch for the front area and <laughs> When I go looking for a hose nozzle, the cheapest one, seven ninety nine, out of stock. And all the other ones are twenty bucks and there's no way I'm paying twenty bucks for a hose nozzle. No. And I'm wondering if Costco will have have them because I know they're on sale for a pack of two. Um, I see it online in a flyer, it's on sale, but I don't know if that's considered essential because I don't know. I, I guess you never know what's essential when you go shopping at the stores. <laughs> it's confusing. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm going to give these guys a little bit of a drink. Our peppers and broccoli so far doing good. Uh, but it is hard to water. 
when you don't have a hose nozzle. So, yeah. <laughs> Whoop. Whoop. Sorry. <laughs> you almost fell. <laughs> okay, let's turn on the bar. Oh, the bugs are out already. Go away, bugs. Go away. <laughs> yeah, just go away. Okay. Uh. Let's get a. There we go. Now it's kind of hard. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Alright. Make sure I don't get my. Don't want to get my phone wet. <laughs> that would be a no no. Okay. There we go, that's it. Well done. All right, so I want to say good night. Thanks for joining me today. Thanks for taking along. And I felt good to um, get the clothes sorted and organized. And yeah, everybody's all set for warmer days. Winter is officially put away. Yeah, okay, that looks good. Grow, grow, grow. Yeah. <laughs> all right, and uh, yeah, so. Let me see, tomorrow's Wednesday, hump day. Woohoo, hump day, yay! It's almost Friday, woohoo! <laughs> oh, thank goodness, now. Oh, it's almost my birthday. <laughs> tomorrow's my last day, I'm being 39. Well, when you're watching it today, it will be my last day, yeah, being 39. <laughs> All right, so I'll see you tomorrow morning with a cup of coffee. Thanks for watching, I really, really do appreciate it. Uh, take care, be blessed, and I'll see you in the morning. Bye!